down came the rain and washed the spider off. Good morning. Um, it's currently 8, about 8.30 a.m. Smokers will go hungry. Yes, you did. <laughs> so I just fed him and we're hanging out. Um, Dad is at golf this morning, so we're just having a nice little morning. Hi, Booker. But it was officially like fall weather. Like it dropped to probably like the 60s, so we actually were able to wear i was were able to wear like a little puffer vest and hunter was in like a sweater it was like cold it was so cute and cozy and it's the same weather today so i'm having a warm pumpkin coffee it's gonna have a nice little sunday honestly had sort of a stressful week as you guys have seen and i just want to like relax this is my last day with smokey before not my last day, but the nanny's coming back tomorrow. So this is my last little day with him that I get to enjoy. Um, and then actually I, and she, I really need her this week because we have such a busy week. Like I honestly still have to work today because we have so much stuff for the Windsor launch happening um, that it's going to be crazy. So it's going to be very helpful actually to have her this week because I don't see it, how it would get done any other way. But needless to say, I would just rather be with you. It's my favorite thing to do in the whole world. It's just be with my baby, isn't it? Look at these little push pad hands. <laughs> these hands are like little pillow pads. Yes, they are. The Pottery Barn holiday catalog came out. So I want to look at that. So cute. Are you just excited your first Christmas? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be so much fun. Can you believe it? Can't you believe that you're gonna be here for Christmas? This is just cute. I freaking love Pottery Barn. I was such a Pottery Barn girl. When I was younger, like PB teen, oh my god, when I was in junior high and high school, it was everything to me. I loved Pottery Barn teen, and I remember, I have like, since I can remember, I might have told you guys this, like I've always been into home decor. I used to like redo my room all the time. I would like, like pick out all new bedding from um, Pottery Barn teen, little furniture pieces, I would like, reorganize and rearrange the furniture like i just loved it um so i'm not surprised that you know as an adult it's continuing but i've always liked their stuff and i feel like they have really good kid stuff so once he gets older i'm so excited to be able to do your room a little bit more cozy and fonts i mean it's fonts right now but we're gonna even have more fun with it when you're a little bit older good tummy time Who's that? Who's that? Wonderful! Yeah. Okay, baby is down for a nap. I'm gonna try to take a shower because I, my hair is so greasy. I have like so much dry shampoo in it and I need to take a shower. So I think I'm gonna um, just pull up the baby monitor on my phone. Perfect. So, let's take a shower. Leave that up so I can hear if anything happens. It's hard for me to like relax in the shower and by myself, obviously with him. If you're a mom, you know, you're like paranoid. So baby monitor is coming in clutch. Who's dad? Who's dad? What is that? Who is that handsome baby? Oh my goodness, that smoke is Malini, smoke alone. I love you. Okay, we are so behind, Mr. Sir. We have to make the bed. We have to, well, it's Sunday, so we don't have to rush, but. <laughs> What'd you think? He's so sweet. Mm. You are delicious. Mm. 
Could I eat you for breakfast? I'm gonna eat you for breakfast because you're so scrumdily dumptious. Okay, I got a couple of things to update our bedding. Okay, so first thing is this um, coverlet from Jenny King. I want to add some more like layers to our bed to, I feel like everything with home decor is like layers. So it, that's why it takes so long to get your house correctly because it's like painting a photo. Like it's like layer after layer after layer and it takes kind of like a long time to get everything in place and get all those layers together. So this I thought was a really nice kind of fall color. It goes with the colors of our bed. And I want to, I basically, we still have Brook Linen as like the base of our bedding, like all of our core bedding. So our sheets, our comforter, everything. But I'm just gonna accessorize with some of these pieces to make it a little more luxe. So what I'm gonna do is put this on over the sheets and it's gonna serve as a coverlet, you'll see. You can do this with, like, with any blanket. Okay, then I'm gonna fold back. Hi. So then I'm just gonna roll back the comforter and fold it down. So it's sort of like a fluffy blanket on the bottom. And put our little throw on top. And I kind of like this because now with the comforter folded down, it adds like a little bit of a layer of texture, but then there's something underneath. It's not just like white sheets. Beautiful. Okay. Now we're going to put our pillows back on basic pillows. Next, upgrade from Jenny Kane. If you are looking for really high quality pillows, Jenny Kane makes beautiful pillows with really neutral, luxurious fabrics. So these are the alpaca basket weave pillows, and this is in the ivory color, 24 by 24. So um, I have these ones from Pottery Barn, which I actually really like, but I feel like they blend in with the back of the headboard a little bit too much. So I was like, I need to get a different texture and I'll use those on another bed. Um, but I thought these were really beautiful, especially for the season. It's like a little bit of a warmer fabric. So got three. Boom. And they come with the pillow insert inside. This one. Oh, they are so nice. The next ones I'm gonna layer are our other ones and put two in front, gorgeous. And then lastly, I have this new pillow from Jenny Kane as well. It's their lumber pillow. And this is the Luna lumber pillow. This is the ivory and the size is 17 by 32. And now the bed is looking perfect. Okay, so do you see how this is just working? It feels way more, I don't know, pulled together, a little luxe. I love the variation of the textures. So you have like this sort of like fuzzy alpaca texture. Then this is more of like a beachy natural weave and this is like a linen. So now we've got lots of variations in the fabrics and the contrast to me is just so beautiful. Um, I love it. And then a little coverlet adds a nice layer. It looks so pretty. Think of anything we could add like a pattern. So maybe something striped. So I don't know. Maybe as the season goes on, I will change out like the throw for like a stripe throw or you, you know, add a little striped lumber pillow. Um, I think that's like where you can really play around with different things if you want to change things out, like different pillows, fabrics, um, but keeping like your core bedding pretty neutral and the same and then just kind of play around with it as you want to switch it up for the season so 
I gotta clean up this bedroom. It is so messy, but the new bed looks really good. Very happy with it. Honestly, I do not need these many pillows, but the girlies get the vibes. Do you know what I mean? Do you love the pillows? I think you're gonna like them. They're very soft. Okay, mama needs to get dressed, clean up this room. It is a disaster. We've got laundry to do. Laundry coming out of the hamper. Ugh, that freaking laundry basket gives me so much anxiety. It's literally always like that, like overflowing. It's frustrating. Okay, Stanley's upstairs, so I'm getting some water because I need to take all of my supplements for the day. I feel like the hardest part with supplements is being consistent and remembering to do them like every single day. So I'm gonna do my postpartum hair vitamins, four of those, cap. And of course my seed, which is my daily symbiotic. You guys already know, Hunter and I take this every day. If you're looking for um, a good prebiotic and probiotic to get on for the winter seasons, I feel like it's definitely a really good time to start it because we're kind of headed into, dare I say, the COVID months, um, but honestly, just winter and cold season in general is upon us. And this is the time where the immunity really starts to take a hit and tackling your gut bacteria is literally so important in making sure that you're really building up your good bacteria in your gut to like keep you nice and strong and immune throughout the season is so important. If you're not on a probiotic or prebiotic, I highly recommend getting on one. It's a really easy thing to just do for your health like right away, something you can integrate every single day. Um, I think everyone really should be on one. It's just a very easy thing that you can take to help protect yourself against um, different things in the environment. It'll help strengthen your immunity. It helps with bloating, digestion, um, your skin health, everything. I took it all while I was pregnant, so it's pregnancy safe, which is amazing. Um, and seed is by far the best probiotic on the market, you guys. It has the most backed research. There's actually an Instagram called Seed University if you want to like learn all about like what the hell this is, because I know it's like a little bit advanced or confusing if you um, aren't familiar with probiotics, but. If you're in dairy health, a lot of you I'm sure are probably on one. They give us a discount code every month so that you guys can get a discount on your first month if you want to try it out. And I, again, think this is the perfect time. I already, like, I feel myself kind of starting to dip at certain moments, moments right around this time of year. Usually I get sick around anywhere between October and December because... I get so busy the holiday season. I see so many people. I just get run down. Um, and I know that's probably common for a lot of people. So this would be a really good time of year to try this. We take two every day on like an empty stomach or I'll take it like right before the gym or just honestly when I remember and I keep the travel vial in my purse it's just in case I forget to take it in the mornings. Again, supplements, like you just never know. Also, if you eat something and you're like, oh my God, there's just, it's not agreeing with my gut and you feel ugh, like the next day like my normal dose will help that digestion and like things go down it's just kind of like having a nice probiotic to kind of help fizzle it out if that makes sense um anyways so you guys check out that info in the description box down below uh or you can gift seed to somebody for the holiday season it'd be a great gift of health and wellness breakfast salad in the making egg bites are in the air fryer I'm gonna make another coffee. Cold brew. Hunter gets these cold brews from this place called Elegy. And they're so good. They have a pumpkin cinnamon one. And I mixed like about half an ounce. I don't like things too sweet. I had hot this morning and now I'm having ice. some hot sauce. I'm out of avocado today, so I've got to get some avocado. And eat a little breakfast. Okay, Amazon unboxing of the day. We just got a little package and I'm pretty sure it's a 
item for Smokey. Yes, it is. I cannot stop buying him clothes, you guys. I'm like, it's bad. Um, another one of his little crew necks. Ah! These are the best little basics from Amazon. I um, made a whole little graphic on my like to know it. It'll be linked in the description box down below of like baby boy basics from Amazon. I found like really cute little t-shirt onesies, um, these little sweatshirts. Let's put it on. It's a fall day. Fall Sunday in our sweats. Um, and I've just been loving like simple little things because you know for babies like it's fun to dress them up every once in a while But for the most part you just need like little simple things, but you still want them to look cute This is like just as easy as a like a little onesie because it is a onesie Gorgeous What do you think? I think it's perfect I think it's perfect Yes Lots of drool on it too Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna put some little pants on it too because it's a little chilly out. Um, some of you were asking where I get my hip from. I just ordered it last night. Okay, I get it from myorganiccompany.store. Um, if you type in like hip, um, he's on the goat milk formula. They also have cow's milk. Um, but the goat is like the most like gentle on the stomach, so I just started on that and that's what he's on. Um, so I just ordered reordered and I get like them by the 12 pack just cause like it's less annoying to have to order it so often. Um, but it goes pretty quick. So usually within a couple of days. Um, so I just redid that order. We're almost out, but yeah. So anyways, um, if you guys missed anything about like us formula feeding and breastfeeding journey, I covered that in a couple of vlogs ago. It's in the title. I think it says like why I stopped breastfeeding. I'm going to do a whole in depth talk about that. Uh oh, you okay? So, FYI. What's up, peeps? Smoke and Juju are watching Devil, Devil Wears Prada. Me and Booker are gonna go do a, like a quick run. I'm gonna get him outside for a little bit. Julia's been working on her Windsor stuff. Oh my god, I'm exhausted now. Now, Julia crushed her Windsor edit. Thanks, babe. Crushed it. It's a good one. It's funny how different you look from when you shot all the pictures. I know. That's us thinking. <laughs> you were so small in LA when we took you for the shoot. You was tiny. You slept at the photo shoot. Mm. Yes. <laughs> okay, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. We're going to, um, we're here at our friend's house in like suburbs of Nashville. Um, for dinner. My friend Carly, because I've seen her before, but I always remind, because I don't know if everyone knows. Um, so we're doing a little dinner tonight because she's been out of town for a few weeks. So. You and Carly went to high school together. Yeah, she's been one of my best friends since I was literally 15. Yeah. So we're here, Smokey's sleeping, that's why I'm whispering. But we're gonna go in. I think she's bringing lasagna soup. And Hunter's gonna, Hunter's gonna help her husband mount a TV because I gotta get that done. So, sun setting, so beautiful. Their, their um, neighborhood kind of reminds me of our neighborhood back in Texas. So, it makes it, it's like very cozy and their house is super cute. We come out to their house like twice a month and Two it's like not too dinners. far away yeah. from where like our property is and it just makes us so excited for like life in the country. Country life. Again. Yeah, mm -hmm. like the sunsets and just like the peacefulness and quietness. So like... Calming. Calm. Yeah, I know. Versus bachelor bustle. parties. I know exactly. Okay, perfect. Shh, 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 shh. Good job. Okay, let's go. Let's tuck those little legs. All right, friends. Eight twenty-eight a.m. F forty-five starts in two minutes. I want to just take a nap in the car. Me too. It's Monday morning. Happy Monday. Let's go work out. Woo! Woo. Can you get a Starbies? Whoop! Let's oh check the whoop. God. Did you get your buzz? Uh, I didn't feel it, but it says I hit it. No. Oh, because it, it just hit it. See the check mark? That's what yeah. it's supposed to hit. Okay. So it's supposed to hit 11.4, and that's what I hit. Perfect. Let's hit up Starbs. Okay, we're at Starbucks getting a little fall coffee. This 
smokers is he's got to take a nap and he is fighting it so the drive through line is really long so we're going hunter ran in i'm gonna stay with mr smokers um oh feel sluggish today just went went um not the vibes but it's a nice little fall day it's like 55 out it's gonna be cozy <laughs> The goods. Mm, yum, 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 yum. And then we're gonna get a cute picture of this. Oh. Okay, Smoke is asleep. And Julie's about to cold plunge. Shut up. It hasn't been too bad cold plunging because it's been like warmer outside. But it's starting to get like a little more crisp outside. And I can't imagine cold plunging when it's winter. Can you? Absolutely not. Aww. That's the best. It's the freaking best. Let's go take a nap. I think it's time to go to sleep. When we rise, we'll have a treat. Think it's time to rest your head. So let's go get into your bed. Let's go get in bed. Look at. Okay, we decided to bring the Jenny Kane chairs upstairs to our bedroom because they felt a little small down in the living room. But we're liking them right here. Yeah, it looks so cute. And then we got the Jenny Kane mirror. We just looks so good. Hung up on the wall. It's pretty heavy, heavy duty. So yes. it took a while for it is like us to get it hung. But really nice quality, though, you guys. Like, if you want to invest in like a nice full length mirror for even like in a bedroom, like a other space besides your bedroom, like living room, it's so beautiful. And it also hangs sideways. So yeah. if you want it for a hallway, it comes with like the really hanging pretty. bracket for sideways or vertical. Yeah. But really good quality wood. I'm good shaving, color. shaving my face at the moment. Looks nice. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. And so then we got this decorated. Got it going nicely in here. And we're getting a frame, exterior frame for around the TV as well. That'll probably match this color, like the one downstairs. Anyways, the bedroom's coming together. And I think we'll probably get new nightstands at some point. Don't you think? Yeah, we're thinking like, or we were thinking, you guys, maybe the ones from our old house, should we go get them out of our storage? The two like, they're like two side tables that kind of mismatch, yeah. but they look like the darker wood. They might look really with good, With one actually. drawer, I know. Should we go get them later today? Out of the pod. Hunter and I decided we need a truck. Yeah. So, follow been, along for our adventure of how we're going to get a truck. I know. <laughs> I, we might trade in the Jeep. We've had the Jeep since 2015. Yeah. We got it in 2015 after we got married. Um... We've had it for a long time and just like really used used it up. Yeah. Um, but we realized just with like our lifestyle and like all the things we get into, it might be nice to have a truck. I was gonna get one last year all the at things. the end of 2022. Um, it was like a work truck and like a write off. I don't know how that works for tax purposes. But anyways, yeah. I was gonna get one last year and decided to hold off and wait till we kind of moved down to the farm in a couple years, but. We're really realizing like, how important it is to have one for like a lot of the stuff we're doing. I mean, with, you like, guys know how crazy furniture. we are. Yeah, we're always bringing things in and out of the house. We've got boxes. We, I mean, our whole lifestyle, we like need a truck so badly. And the Jeep is too small to throw like furniture in. We yeah. can fit some of the stuff into our Mercedes, but we just don't want to like damage the Mercedes. So yeah, we think we might trade in the Jeep and get a get, truck. Get like a used Maybe truck. Maybe a used truck. The thing about trucks though is like the used ones are not that much cheaper cheaper than a new one i know so. we were looking at that and i was like wait they're like used so they're almost as much as new so then it's like do you just stretch yourself and get the new one a little bit more because it'll hold its value better the hold its value and also they last so long there like, was that one though with only sixteen thousand miles yeah so we're gonna like we're gonna look at some new ones we're gonna like some used ones we're not 100 percent sure we're gonna pull the trigger on something like that yet but we're Thinking trying to like it. explore i've been looking at them for a few weeks now and i don't know we'll see yeah but um, actually, speaking of, I just got a missed call from one of the dealerships. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah, that would be nice because then, like, for instance, Hunter and I, you guys, like, we were changing our stuff around. Like, we want to change out those nightstands. If we had a truck, we could throw them in the truck, go over to our storage, just get the, the other nightstands. Oh, yeah, our nightstands are in the pod. We have a pod and we have a um, storage unit. And so I think the nightstands are in the in pod. The pod. So we could go grab those, bring them over, try them, throw them in the truck. But, you know, we don't have a truck, so... This is where we are. We need a truck. And I think since we got the plunge, we thought it would be nice to go ahead and go get the, the treadmill from the cabin. Yeah. And bring also that over. And just things like that. 
And um, we go to the recycling center every week and we put all the boxes in our car. So that would be a weekly trip that we would. So we're just thinking it for our lifestyle would fit really well. Hunter's had a truck since high school. Yeah, and I've always had a truck until we were in California. I had a big GMC 2500 and it was just like too, too big, big for, San for Francisco. California. Yeah. So I sold it and we just shared one car. And now we have the Jeep, Mercedes, and the Defender. But we don't really drive the Defender too much. I'm going to redo that at some point. You get work done on that. Yeah. It's actually battery's dead right now. But the Jeep, it, it's almost more like the need for a truck is like... It's like very... It, it's there, but we can easily justify why we need a truck. But, but we at the same actually time, the really Jeep is it. also just kind of to the point where it's like... It's at its breaking point. It's time to go. Well, just for us, like, it could be great for someone else. You know what that Jeep would be good for, like, a first, like, a 16-year-old Oh, for car. sure, for sure. That would be great. It's just like... Yeah, I don't know. I had to get a new battery last week in it, and I don't know. Yeah. It's just, it's not falling apart necessarily, but we've just had it for so long that we're like, okay, maybe we're it's time it. to... We've had it since before we were married. Or right, right after or we right got married. Or right after we got married. Yeah. So, yeah, eight years we've eight had that nine car. Years. I mean, long time. So, I think it's it's just we're ready to move on from it. Booker. I don't think we should let him in these chairs. Booker already on the Jenny Canes. Book. Booker. Hey, your bed is right two feet from that. You look so cute in your bed. You have to, you're a little bit big for that chair. <laughs> you look cute there too, though. You look really cute there. Um, anyways, I don't know, why were we talking about a truck? I don't know, because, oh, oh we were nice saying we want to change the nice yeah. ones, yeah. So we might try those uh, wooden side tables, like darker. Yeah. And it just has one drawer, so the only worry about that is giving up our drawers, because a lot of our clothes, like athletic clothes and underwear socks are in these yeah. drawers. But now that we have this dresser, we can try to put most of it in there. Mm -hmm. And then we can even use that bench technically for like, if you want to put like your athletic clothes in the bench. I know. You could. Because that bench opens up. Okay. It was in front of our bed and we moved it to underneath the window. And got the nice. changing table desk out of here. And that's perfect. Like we can sit down, put on speakers for the gym. Yeah. I mean, you could do that anyways right here. I know, but it's <laughs> not step up. By the window. And then once the drapes get in here, I feel like it's going to really like, make the room. Mm -hmm. Anyways, it's oh, coming the drapes together. are going to be so nice. I would love to paint this room. Like something deeper. Yeah. Well, you know, all of our neutral light airy furniture would look really pretty if we had more of like a paint color. No. Like just something subtle, but like a little bit of texture. So yeah. maybe like a Portola paint, like Roman clay or Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think something warmer. Yeah, agreed. Almost like a, not like red undertone, but with warmth like that. Mm -hmm. Agree. Or like, you know, it'd be pretty. But I was gonna take a picture of you with that chair. It looks so cute. Okay, so okay. it's coming together. We just been working on this up here. This Obviously, our uh, part time nanny is here with smoke, so we're able oh, to yes. like, get done with these things. I know. Uh, which, which is nice. Updates on that. When we first told y'all about the nanny, um, it was like we were kind of going through like some hard times with it or at least Julia was going through some like emotional times with it. Yeah, if you saw those previous vlogs, I've been couldn't stop crying talking about it, but I'm feeling like this week, I think it was just a shock like when she first started and I was like, my baby. Um, but now I'm feeling like a lot more comfortable. I just needed some time to kind of like adjust, I think. And, and you'll probably still have some hard days. For sure. And it's not necessarily easy for me. I think I just recognize the practicality of it. Yeah. With just like everything we're doing, everything we have going on, our businesses, like the cabin renovation and, and just I our think life just in general. Different for like a mom. Like yeah, it's nice out. having the help, but I think Julius should recognize the practicality and Definitely. the fact that we work from home, we're still able to be with him and stuff like that. It's exactly. just nice having a little bit of And help. like I know that like getting to know the nanny better and not that I like didn't trust her or anything, but it just takes me some time to like get used to people. She's and, um, amazing. She's, she's wonderful. so sweet. Yeah, we love Actually, her. Actually, I like having her around because it feels like having like a mom or like a family member around I and I kind of like that. So, um, it's we're just get, good we're getting company. used to it. Yeah. It's only a few days a week, so it's not like we're never seeing him and totally. even when she is here like i said we are seeing him a lot so totally and like can go in and hold and play with him whenever um it's truly like having just an extra pair of hands yeah. at the house with us which is totally needed and he every time i go in he's smiling, eh, smiling at her, at her. <laughs> he loves her she speaks spanish to him it's so cute she's like i go in she's like mi amor es tres capo and he's just like eh. <laughs> 
<laughs> so that's yeah. very so cute. So the goal is that we'll be like bilingual if we have her for a while. Totally. Be we'll great. speak some Spanish. And I feel very thankful, like even going downstairs, I'm like, oh, the fact she's here, it actually now I'm like, okay, this is really nice. Yeah. And I feel like I can get things done and I know that he's taken care of and loved. I think it was just like that first week I was like, whoa, like, oh my God. Or so. able, we're now able to focus on some things that like have been pushed aside for a while. Yes. Really. And now we're able to like, just well, I feel things. like for a while too, like we'd always be like, oh, we want to get this done, we want to get this done, and we'd talk about it vlog after vlog after vlog, and we would never be able to get it done. And then now it's like, when she's here, we're like, okay, now we can go do things. Well, because yeah. before she started, during his nap times, we were like doing work work, like computer, yeah. blah, 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 like all the just the stuff we have to do for our jobs and our businesses. And now we have like just like those extra like one or two hours a day when we're not having to work, but we're able to like take care of some things around the yeah. house. So it's just like, I don't know, just it's a peace of mind that we now have totally. and we're able to execute on a few things we've been wanting to work on. So totally. with that being said, love the way the room's turning out. It looks so good. And excited to try those wooden side tables. I know, we do need to measure really. though. Okay, we'll measure. I think they're gonna look bomb. Don't you think? Yeah. But, and, and we need to figure out the piece of art. I feel like everyone's house on Instagram, it's all starting to look Kind of like start to merge. A little bit. Yeah. Um, so I'd like to get like a really special. You know, it says like we loved our, our style at our Texas house with like the big sectional and the bench behind, and it just seems like that's like so overdone now. Like everyone, not overdone, but it just seems like what every house looks like now. I know and that's it's sort like of the, the nature Instagram of house, the internet, I guess, isn't it? Yeah, but, um, the Instagram house. Exactly. Yeah, it challenges you to kind of create something new that's your own vibe. Yeah. So, anywho, let's keep rolling. I'm, I'm in that mood okay. to just like knock off like the checklist. Let's do it. Alrighty, y'all. It is. Nine o'clock at night, and we are out of baby formula. We ordered some the other day to be delivered, but it won't get here till tomorrow, and we just ran out like an hour ago. So we just thought we'd go to Target to buy one tub of formula. Well, guys, this is the tea, so I ran out of the hip, and I had a can of Bobby from when Smoke was first born. Someone like gifted it to us, or like put it in like a gift basket or something. And so I was like, oh, I'll just keep it, you know, and back up, whatever. And I was breastfeeding obviously the first few months, but I had some hip and bobby. Anyway, so we ran out of the hip, so, oh, the battery. I tried the bobby just cause we didn't have any hip left over and his spit up has gone way down. So we're like, shoot, we switch. And um, hip is supposed to be like the best for digestion and stomach and all that kind well, of stuff. Well, the goat's so. milk, it's pretty clean, yeah. but anyway. It's supposed to be the cleanest is what I'm trying to say. I never thought, so we're here getting some bobby. The but we milk. still have a bunch of hip coming into yeah. town, so. I could maybe try to return it. But. We'll like maybe do some back and forth, test the waters again. Yeah. We've got some experimenting to do. It's smokers. But anyways, we're here at Target, 9 p.m. at night. We're tired, Target past his bedtime. And we're gonna grab a tub of formula. Let's do it. You find it? Yeah, there's only two cans left, but now I'm looking at this one next to it. It's called By Heart. And I'm just researching, and they're basically super comparable. Um, but this is new, it launched last year. And the whey protein is higher in this one, which is closer to colostrum. I'm just, I'm reading about it, so I don't know, I'm probably gonna, these are the only two left, so I'm gonna obviously get these, but I'm kind of intrigued by this. The by heart. If anyone's heard of it, or has used it, comment. Let us know. All right, so we're leaving with a couple things. We got his formula, he's holding on to it. We got this bin for his toys. And we're gonna put all of our stuff in there. Hey, baby. You doing good? Good. Nice butt. Then you could swing back to me. Maybe you, maybe you could be a little bird with polka dot wings, and you could fly up to the sea. Then you could fly back to me over the ocean, above the clouds. You could float across the sky. Down to the forest, you would sing out, then fly back home. Then you could fly back